I'm Adam Watson, and I'm a student athlete at Kansas Wesleyan. And as a student athlete, I have a lot of responsibilities to deal with. Besides classes, I have to make sure I go to tennis practice. And my teammates, well, they help me with that. They're like my family. I mean, I actually would do anything for these guys. For a normal practice, we start simply with warm-ups. As you can see here, I'm warming up my shoulder a little bit by serving a few balls. Once I'm good and loose, I partner up and warm up my strokes. Uh, we usually start pretty close to the net so we can get a good feel of the ball. This goes on for a good five minutes. Next, we get even closer to the net to warm up like what we like to call volleys. Uh, this helps us develop our reaction time a little bit. Now, I always like to say that I enjoy tennis simply for the fact that it's an individual sport. But really, we're still a team. And we always help each other and push each other to improve and get better. We're there to push each other to go further than we ever thought we can go. Practice isn't the only place where I get pushed, though. Like I said before, I have a lot of responsibilities. And another one of these is a job. It's tough to organize my time around my job. And sometimes my job forces me to leave practice early. Sometimes I feel guilty for it, but hey, I'm a college student and I need to make money. It always seems like I'm running around with everything, but I was taught that those who work the hardest receive the best rewards. Now, for certain reasons, I can't really show you exactly what I do most nights. But what I can tell you is I'm the one who usually takes the pizzas out of the oven and boxes them up. And they can get pretty busy over there. Another job of mine is to help make our freshly cut dough for tomorrow's orders. And we try to make it a little fun and turn it into a little competition. We try to see who can cut the fastest and most accurate dough balls. I'm probably like maybe the third fastest cutter. After a long day of school, practice, and work, I'm still not quite done. I still have to make it back to my room to finish up any homework or last minute studying that I have. And this is what a college student has to go through when he or she has this many responsibilities.